I don't know where I'm going with this. You just keep going, though, because I'm getting close to having something important to say. So you oh, just good, keep, yeah. good, good. You work on it. I'm going to back it up a bit. Had to look up Wiseman. Look it up. Had to look up Veil last time. Now I'm looking up Wiseman. <laughs> but you did such a good job with the 60-foot Wiseman. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Welcome to the Three Abyssidarians. My name is Matt. This is Jordan, and this is my dear friend Brian. Today we're talking about the wise men. You know this story. They uh, were three Eastern, some say kings, some say scholars, who cares? They were three wise men, and they traveled from afar to see the baby Jesus, who I wasn't really a baby at the time. I don't know, some people say two year olds are babies. I think if it's just a toddler. Have, sometimes teenagers are babies. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. Jesus was born to a poor family. He was born in a manger. He was a baby. Uh, He didn't have a very prestigious beginning. The people who were told were, the first were these shepherds who were out in the field at night. Now, if you were a third shift shepherd, you were like bottom of the ladder. You were so low on the ladder that I didn't even think you knew there was a ladder. I thought you just were like, we live in the mud. They were the first to be told. They were the ones that God chose to announce the good news to first. And that is that is a huge statement right there. The other people who knew, who found out about this, were these three wise men, these three scholars who lived east. So China, I guess, I don't know, India? They don't, they're, they're never, east. they're not three, in fact, that's one of the, yeah, I, one of the research articles oh. I'm reading about talks about how non-specific it is. They just, yeah. they came from the east. From the east. So who's to say? The reason that they knew about Jesus was they were observing the heavens and they saw this new star. And the emergence of a new star was often considered to herald the birth or death of someone extremely important. So they traveled to find this person. They followed the star to find this important person. And along the way, they ran into Herod and Herod was like, hey, yeah, so tell me more about this king, huh? Now Herod was the king. He didn't want another king around. He didn't want any kind of uh, contention for the throne. And Herod, I think we've mentioned once or twice, was nuts. This dude was crazy. So crazy, in fact, that um, he decided uh, just to kind of hedge his bets to have all of the, the male children two years and younger killed uh, just to make sure that that king wasn't around. Right. So anyway, so when these wise men stopped to, you know, to stay with Herod, Herod was like, tell you what, when you find this young man, come back and tell me so I can go and worship him too. Huh? But an angel came to the three wise men and they were like, don't go back to Herod. And they were like, doy, that guy is crazy. He fed us, I think his son, I'm not sure, but it was real chewy. I don't think that was beef. They did not go back to Herod. They went a different way when they left. After they, you know, they came to Jesus, they gave him his gifts, uh, incense, gold, and myrrh. Yeah. And, uh... Gold is associated with well, kings. frankincense. Yeah. Kings. Frankincense is sometimes used in worship in churches and show that people would worship Jesus. Myrrh is a perfume that is put on dead bodies. So that's interesting. Mm. So those three gifts are symbolic of Jesus being the king, but also of his coming death. Yeah, that is interesting. I like that. Um, and I've also heard that that myrrh, Mary saved it and, and used that's it... that's what they... For his embalming, when mm. yeah, but that might be completely yeah. false. I don't know. I, I don't remember where I heard it. Might have been like on like a comic, like in a comic book or something. I don't know. Uh, my information sources are notoriously sketchy, right, Jordan? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, lots of Bible lands. We can look in here to find the east. Yeah. Go ahead, look for the east. It's in there. Uh, they came and they went. Now, the interesting thing about these guys. Uh, they were not Jews. They may have had an understanding of the Torah. They were scholars. They may have known about it. They may have perused and, it. Yeah, and how they would have, and this is another another source online, whatever, but they, how they might have known about the Jewish um, the prophecies, the Torah, how they would have, it, it is because the Jews were in captivity in the East. So, there's, mm. so some people think that these Magi, the, the Magi, were uh, possibly from like what's now like Iraq, Iran, or Saudi Arabia, or Yemen, someone over there. So maybe not as far east as like no. China or something like that, but but who knows? But they might have known about it because mm. Jews were like their servants. Slaves, like yeah. They had them, yeah, but they might have heard about it through that. Hmm. That's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so listen to your servants. They know stuff, man. There's Just... Jerusalem, and then east is like Babylon is to the east too. So like, yeah, all those places that they were dragged as, yeah. So that makes sense then. Yeah. I should have studied more 
No, because geography. Jordan, Jordan studied stuff and he's an idiot. And he's not here to defend himself, right, Jordan? Uh, <laughs> most of us probably don't put a lot of stock in astrology and astronomy. Like, the study the stars and how you're going to learn about what's, gonna, what's coming because of the stars. But they did back then. And so they, there's these people who study the stars and study the movement of the planets and the movement of the stars. And, and there were signs that they read in those things. And it, it's interesting because, so these guys study the stars and that's what brought them to come and see Jesus, which is so interesting because now... I mean, I don't know how how I grew up is that whole idea of astrology and, and the study of the stars is is kind of, I would it's say, like scary a, and yeah. important to Christian. Like it's like ooh, it's a form of witchcraft. I'm not advocating to do it because later in the Bible it says don't do those things because mm -hmm. you're looking for signs. You're looking for all these signs there, and, and that was Jesus coming too is saying, look, you don't have to, don't find meaning in those things. But it is interesting yeah. that he used that. So these guys, the what they studied. Right, so they were studying astrology. They were looking at these things, and and so God used that thing to draw mm -hmm. them in to this really important. And and yeah, they weren't even Jewish. Right. It was it was kind of like really horrible modern context. But uh, you ever play with your cat with like a laser pointer, and the cat's just <laughs> not interested, and then you think maybe the cat doesn't see it. So instead of pointing it on the wall over here, and the cat's laying over here staring out the window, you got to put that stupid red dot where the cat's gonna see it, and all of a sudden the cat's like. I want that dot. That's what Jesus was doing. Or, well, God. Right. What God did with the star. He literally put a laser in the sky where they were looking and they're like, oh. That's well, new. That, no, 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 follow. Go, go, get it. Go, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. That's, that's my modern context. Yeah. But I, what I think is interesting about that is he used what they were doing. So, like, God speaks to us all in the he, ways that we're going to understand yeah. it. So those guys knew that something important was happening. They understood that, the, yeah, and he used that. He met them where they were. Yeah. That's what he does for us. That's pretty awesome. I love that. I love it. And to sort them, um, as they're scholars, my, my You're real... You're going Ravenclaw Yeah, again. I'm going Ravenclaw. Yeah, going Ravenclaw. But they were brave, because a lot of times the Ravenclaw would be like, oh, interesting, there's something going on. Okay, m put it down in the books. Mark it. <laughs> um, so I think at least and one of them... send one of the muggles. Muggles? Nah. No. Uh, send a... What are the other guys? Gryffindor? Send Gryffindor. a Gryffindor? Yeah. Gryffindors and Hufflepuffs, they'll do it. Because they're brave yeah. Um, I think at least one of them must have been a Gryffindor because he probably was like, guys, come on, we got to go. What, what's the point in learning this stuff if we're not going to do anything with it, right? He would have been brave. He would have wanted to dig into it and looked into it and figured out some more stuff. That's my yeah. take. What's yeah. interesting, too, is that there, it, like it says three. They think it, they, people think it was three because there were three gifts listed. Mm. But in all reality, there could have been a lot more than three people there. There could have been, yeah. And, yeah. and there probably were. They probably brought their servants and stuff like that, you know, along. But um, for the sake of keeping <laughs> our nativity scene concise, I'd like to stick to three. That's great. Yeah. Casper, I, I love this description. And I, I don't know how they understand how they would think of this anyway, but this guy apparently had brown hair and a beard. Or, oh. no, or no beard. Which, that's, that's great. So it's like... He either had a beard or no beard, no beard, huh, interesting. and hair or no hair, hmm. and which so but yeah, and <laughs> wears a green cloak and a go. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm... this is how the legend was described. Oh. Back, okay, this is the legend. He was apparently the king of Sheba, which the queen of Sheba came for Solomon. Did, yeah. And Melchior, who has long white hair and a white beard and wears a gold cloak, the king of Arabia, and Balthazar. Balthazar.